Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get your second generation Alexa remote to have the power button as well as the volume buttons work with your television. And currently, as you can see, I'm clicking the power button, nothing's happening, the volume button, nothing is happening. So to fix this problem, we're going to go ahead and go all the way over to where it says settings. And then we're going to go down and then over to where it says equipment control and select that. Then we're going to select add equipment and it should automatically detect our television. So we're going to select TV and it says, please wait while we prepare your remote for setup. And then it's going to ask what brand of TV do you have? And quite a long list of different options here. So could take a little bit of time to get all the way down to the S's since my TV brand that I'm using here isn't in the more common uh, section there towards the top and there it is scepter then it says press power on your fire tv remote to turn on and off your tv wait 10 seconds then press it again all right so we turned off our television and then set it to wait around 10 seconds before turning it back on All right, so now we're gonna turn it back on. This is actually the uh, first time I'm setting up one of these second generation remotes to the Fire TV. I'm actually really impressed at how easy that was just to go through and to set things up. And so it says, did your TV turn on and off um, when you press the power button? So I'm gonna click yes. We'll be playing music during the next step. Please make sure the volume is turned up with your Fire TV remote pointed at your TV, toggle the volume up and down. All right, so as you can see, I'm capable of uh, turning the volume up and down. So that is working as expected. So we're gonna click yes. Which input is your TV currently set to? And I believe for me that's HDMI 4. Using your TV remote, please change to a different input. Once you are there, press the fast forward button on your Fire TV remote and keep it pointed at your TV. All right, so I'm gonna change the source. So guys, I've tried a couple of times now and it's not working. So it looks like my particular TV isn't able to set up this particular feature. So that's okay. So we're just gonna go ahead and skip that option. So it says my Fire TV remote has now been updated. So I'm gonna click OK. And now everything should be good to go. I can turn my television off as well as uh, change the volume up and down on my TV. I can mute and I can also power off my television, which are really nice features to have with this new second generation Alexa voice remote. So that's gonna wrap up this video, guys. Thanks for stopping on in. Subscribe for more and I hope to see you guys back here for future videos.